everybody. It's Yaya from Conscious Living and Nova Lily Herbals on TikTok. So, uh, yes, I have a mosquito hat on because let me tell you, I'm out here in the evening and the mosquitoes are treacherous out here, like really bad. So, what I am doing right now is um, cutting down uh, some of these uh, squash leaves because they are just uh, in abundance. I cannot see the squash and I, well, my sister told me that if we cut some of them down, we'll get more fruit pr production. And I also read that and saw some videos on it. So that's what I am doing. And let me just show you the stuff that is going on over here. So over here, we have crookneck squash, bumpy crookneck squash, straight yellow squash, and um, the white scallop squash, which is also slash patty pan. So even with all of these leaves that I cut, we still have an abundance of leaves. And it's like the squash, you know, put out a round of, they put out a round, you know, of fruit, and then they're like growing longer and putting out more. So like, look at this. So we had the first part back up in here and then it elongated itself and came out for another round. It's, it's, it's crazy. And I could not see the squash. So <laughs> look at how big this patty pan is, this white scallop compared to what it's supposed to look like when you harvest it. So I, it's bigger than my hand. So yeah, and then this straight neck and these bumpy crook necks and the smooth crook necks. So yeah, and they were overtaking my peppers over here. So I did move two of my peppers to a different bed from over here because you see, look at this, look at this stem right here. It's like that. And they're all coming out of here. And this is not the only one of these squashes that's doing that. It's a couple of these squashes in here that have developed this huge stem and have branched out into my pepper, my peppers bed. So I had a pepper over here and I had a pepper over here. So I went ahead and dug them up and moved them so that they can have their room to grow. But as you can see, I know I haven't been on, haven't been putting a video for like a week or so. We have an abundance of peppers and things. These are my Mad Hatters. Look at them. I'm waiting for them to change colors. This one is a um, Carolina Reaper and they are coming through. They are starting to come through. And then these are some volunteer uh, ground cherries and they are just loaded. I, I didn't wait to say that word, loaded. My peppers are loaded. Everything's loaded over here. I've got some, hold on. I've got some eggplant coming on in. Some eggplant. I had another eggplant on here. I wonder what happened. And we got some ladybugs too. There was another eggplant that I saw growing on here. What happened to it? Hmm. Oh, there it is. So I got the one there on the bottom and then that one right there. Plus flowers. Flowers. This is the other eggplant. I don't know why this eggplant is growing. Oh, this eggplant right here is growing so slowly. But this one is big and flowerful. And then we've got some 
cayennes over here. Look at this cayenne. Look at this cayenne right here. Loaded with peppers. Loaded. And then this right here is a wild amaranth. I just leave it because the bugs like eating this. So I'd rather them eat this than to eat my peppers. We got another cayenne over here. And then we've got some, this one, hold on, this one is the gypsy sweet pepper. And look at this, loaded with peppers. We've got some banana peppers over here, some serranos. Look at the serranos, loaded. I love it, I love it. Look at all these flowers on this one on this serrano wow and this is my camel mill over here this is sage i've harvested off this sage twice i've cut it down big time so many times this one is a uh a ghost this is a ghost look at look at how the ghosts look it it look it looks hot it just looks hot look at that this is my lemon. That's my lemon right here. This is another one. I think this is banana. So, my peppers are doing well. Now, my Brussels sprouts are not doing too well. So, what I did with these Brussels sprouts is the, the worms were eating them up. So, I thought to cover them up with these mesh laundry bags well they just weren't doing well so i just took them off to see what they're gonna do so we'll see we'll see if they do anything we'll see but we got more peppers loaded this is so far the harvest just from this bed already got some kale some basil. See, that's a better look at this um, this eggplant right here. So this one is little, that one is a little bit bigger. So, but they're coming, they're coming. So that's some of the peppers. I also transformed the bed over here uh, on the side of the house. Uh, with some peppers in it and I also have some peppers over there too but I didn't make it over there I'm still working so I just wanted to pop in and just show even with me cutting all of these all of these leaves off I still got a ton of leaves but I opened it up some gave it some uh room I had one um squash that got attacked by the vine boar okay so what I did, that open spot, I saw the open spot in the boo-boo where the vine borer, you know, put, you know, was at. So I just poured some BT into that open spot and I think it killed it. And then I went ahead and took the part off of it where that part off. So this was the part right here. So I went ahead and because it had basically fallen off. So I went ahead and just took it off. The the fruit was not growing. I gave it a few days. This fruit that was on here was not growing and it was dying. You see that? See that? It was dying. So and it wasn't growing. So I went ahead and just took that part off. But like I said, it had grown an extra like leg or something. I don't know what 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 they're doing they're just growing extra and so yeah i'm just gonna go with it and they all look fine but we do have squash um that we have ready to go and plus we've you know we've six uh succession planted some more squashes and um so I am going to go to the other squash bed and see how that one is doing. That other squash bed has spaghetti squash in it. 
I think pink banana and also um, round zucchini and regular zucchini. So I'm gonna go take a look at that one and uh, see what's what over there and cut off some of those leaves also. So uh, I'll check back in and uh, show you that one too. All right, bye. Oh, I forgot to also show you my serranos over here. So this is another angle on these peppers. Look at these pavanos. And mind you, me and my sister have already harvested off of these pavanos already. But again, they're loaded. It's my serranos. Look at these serranos. Like, I have never grown peppers like this before. Uh, I had a couple of pepper plants um, in the other bed that I called the jungle, the one back there. Uh, all the way back there and it was a jungle over there it was tons of weeds grass I mean hi there was bunnies living in there it was it was something else and like at the end of the season I had um, a couple serrano peppers and a couple um, um, uh, banana peppers and I just loved how good they tasted so I was like you know what I want to grow some, I want to make sure I grow a nice um, you know assortment of peppers this year so I do have about 10 to 15 different types of uh, pepper plants so yeah I will when we start really you know harvesting them I will show you guys but let me get back to it. I just want to pop in real quick and show you that. But I'm kind of sad about my Brussels sprouts. But again, uh, so we had four Brussels sprouts. They are not doing well. Um, and uh, I did uh, seed some more, I believe. I, th I think I sold some more. So we'll, we will see how that will go. But yeah, there's, just keep going, you know. A little sad about them, but. I got some more growing, so we'll see.